Chevrolet Studios. It's Great Day on KCWI 23 HD. Good morning. It is 836. Hey. Welcome back to Great Day. This has been a whirlwind program. Look at man. this handsome devil right over here. He's I'm bringing up, up the neighborhood. Going. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> We're taking it seat. to the next level. Next level. You stole my seat and my pocket square. Double pocket square. Double. Yeah, why not wear two? Well, that's what he says. But I'll leave well, the weather to you, though. But <laughs> Ron the Car Guy is here. No, it's not Tuesday. It's Thursday, obviously. But Ron the Car Guy had a segment on when he came back from Italy that got more talk than about anything he has done because you talked about converting vehicles from gasoline to gas, to, as in natural gas. Natural gas. That, that the same natural gas that goes into your house, heats your water, cooks your and food. And we show people the contraptions you can get and, Absolutely. and how to fill them up and things like that. And not only uh, are you going to talk about that a little bit today, you brought somebody with you that, I, that you got to befriend when you were in Italy. I, I brought uh, Paolo with me. Paolo. Hello. 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 Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> good, good morning. Good morning, everybody. And, and Paolo and, and his colleague uh, uh, Giuseppe are, are here in Des Moines all week. Uh, they're from the Zavoli Corporation, and they're training us and helping us. Uh, we are converting vehicles uh, to natural gas right now as we speak. We, we drove a vehicle down here uh, this morning that's operating on natural gas wow. uh, that we converted uh, Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. It's out nice. in the parking lot. So how long of a process is it, uh, Paolo, to convert a vehicle from regular gasoline to natural gas? Right, yeah. If you want to do a good job without rushing it and uh, set, make sure that everything is fine at the end of the conversion, a couple of days and done. Just wow. leave us the car for a couple of days and you're going to be able to drive back with your CNG and, you know, safely. Now, how easily. popular is this in Italy? Very popular. Very popular. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain how popular it is. It's been basically, you know, since you know, the First World War, they were using and you know natural gas for uh, fueling vehicles. In fact, hmm. in 1965, my dad uh, used to drive um, a Ford Capri. Okay. Remember the Ford Capri? Oh yes, no, I do. Yeah. No boot space at all. Well, he fitted the boot with two huge tanks of natural gas. That was 1965. I was a, was a kid. Didn't know what they were. What he was doing. Obviously, mm -hmm. we didn't have any space to load anything in the back of the car. So obviously, now that I work in this industry, um, I know exactly what he was doing because he was cutting his fuel bill at least in a half. You know, because obviously having a f running also a family, a business with a car, was very important for him. And it was 1965. Now, Italy is the um, seventh country in the world for NGV vehicles, approximately 750,000 vehicles running on uh, CNG in Italy. 4.5% of NGV vehicles worldwide are um, now in Italy. Wow. So you've got 10 times the potential that we have. Right. So. And in the United States, there are, there are very few of these vehicles. <coughs> there's there's about yeah. 200,000 yeah. that are converted to natural gas right now. Mm -hmm. It's not as popular in Iowa, but but in uh, uh, Utah, Oklahoma, uh, I mean I mean it's huge there, and, and it's it coming to Iowa. It's just a matter of time. Now, how many vehicles have you done so far? Uh, or well, is it just yours that you've? No, no. Th this is the the third one, and uh, we're we're going to start a fourth one uh, mm. now this week. Ron has already 80% of our sales. <laughs> <laughs> Just by himself. <laughs> by his, himself. So can, yeah. can any car get converted over to this? Th that is the beauty of, of uh, yeah. the Zavoli. Which car do you drive? Uh, I drive an Impala. Fantastic. Perfect conversion. Great really? example for a great conversion. Okay, Which car so do you drive? Taurus. That's it. Second. All set? Absolutely. All set. Well, how, okay, Which so car do you drive? Accord. Again. What? 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 what it, you said it takes a couple of days, but but how much does it cost to do something? But or what are the benefits that well, I would get if I, I did? I'd do say according like to the sort of equipment that you need to be fitted in your car, which is obviously vary from vehicle to vehicle, and according to how, how I'd say, uh, you know, what sort of tank you want to install into your vehicle, because mm -hmm. this is obviously going to affect the range uh, that you're going to drive, between five thousand and seven thousand dollars. That's what we are aiming to, really to to introduce something new from this point of view as well because converting vehicles has always been thought to be a very expensive job, which is not, especially if you think in you know, how quickly you can recoup your, you know, your, your investment, yeah. your, your return on the investment. We are really thinking that it's going to happen between 
uh, a year and a half, two years. Two so and a half years. Two years, years you, the money you save, save. on, on yeah. fuel is going to pay for what you spend to convert your car. And and if you're a, a company, you know, a roofing company, floral delivery company, and you drive a lot. Uh, the, the payback will probably be a year or less. Absolutely right. Um, it, it, you can you can install a refueling unit at your business or home, uh, and if you have that equipment to refuel, uh, I, I'm putting one in at our shop. It brings the cost down to 67 cents a gallon. Okay, uh, now let's be real clear on this too, because yeah. 67 cents a gallon. Now explain what that means. Right. Well, as as you know, you know when you look at your like your Mid America gas bill or something, uh, it, it ga uh, natural gas is sold in cubic feet. So when we talk about a gallon of natural gas, it's actually what they call a GGE, a gasoline gallon equivalent. So when I when I say 67 cents for a gallon of natural gas, that's going to mm -hmm. produce the same result that a gallon of gasoline would. So if your car gets 20 miles to the gallon mm -hmm. on gasoline, it will get 20 miles to the gallon on natural gas. So, so it, it, it's a fair comparison. So you're not paying the like 350 or 380 or whatever it is now, you're paying 67 cents a gallon to go the same Less. distance. Less. Because I, I just learned this Tuesday at, at, a, at a natural gas form that they had in Johnston, and, and they're going to have another one on Friday. There is a 50 cent a gallon federal tax credit if you operate your vehicle on CNG. What? 50 cents a gallon. And I hate to tell people this because they don't even believe it. So, so now you're going to fuel at home for 67 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get a 50 cent tax credit per gallon back, or it's 16 cents a gallon to drive your vehicle. Yeah. Okay. So how? When can you have my <laughs> car fixed up? It's oh, by the weekend. Yeah, the man okay. here is a long list already, so huh? just. Uh, but okay. <laughs> but, wow. but how realistic is this? Because does this mean I have to get a fueling station at my home, or what if I'm traveling? How do I well, fuel up my car? Yeah, and that's a great question. And, and certainly the infrastructure is starting to grow. Uh, it, it, it's it's huge in other states. It's starting to grow in Iowa now. Uh, currently, there is a public uh, fueling station uh, at the the Ryder Corner at 141 in the interstate. Oh, that's at the, right. At the Really? Station. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah. Now, now you're not going to get the 67 cents a gallon because somebody has to pay for that infrastructure. Uh, it's $1.99 a gallon, but I, I did fill there yesterday. Okay. Uh, and uh, so you don't have to have one at your home. Okay. But even if you put like a fueling uh, unit at your home, um, there's a 30% tax credit up to $30,000 on the equipment that you would install. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of Lying tax. Seven. Oh, huge, huge. So the incentive. government's behind this. Oh, too. absolutely. But but you're going to see that infrastructure. Um, um, they're, they're, the, the, the mail contractor in Des Moines just, just ordered uh, uh, some semi-tractors that are CNG only. Uh, waste management's uh, garbage trucks are CNG only. Uh, Werner trucking. Out of, sure, yeah, You've yeah. seen the blue trucks? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they, they now have I think it's 20 or 22 uh, semi tractors that they only run on CNG and, and so that the trucking industry has really got into this oh, and God, of course save tons. Now, yeah oh yeah, yeah. And, and so you're gonna see the the truck stops you know the, the flying J's the pilots are all gonna start installing because they, they want to retain that business so they'll start installing CNG refueling stations but absolutely there's a so. uh, because they have to travel across the country obviously fueling stations have to exist for that absolutely there there's uh, there's two guys from Oklahoma um, that, that came up to participate yeah. in our training this week and, and they drove an Impala that's been converted to natural gas. They drove from Oklahoma City to Des Moines, Iowa on $12. This just makes too much sense. It does. It's it, great. It, it, it it's almost brainer. seems too good to be true. You, 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 all, you know, with the federal tax credit and stuff, for, I, I mean, I don't even want to tell people that because they don't believe you. They think it's smoke and mirrors. But, uh, I mean, if anybody wants to look at a vehicle that's been converted to natural gas uh, or, or drive a vehicle that's been converted to natural gas, I mean, uh, come Can out Can you to, tell a difference? No. no. I think we need to no. take, a, take a camera out and mm -hmm. get a uh, in close look at all of this because yeah, this is you, just you, unbelievable. You can you, stop out and drive it. I think I'll take the onboard camera with us. Yeah, bring yeah. It out. I, okay. I mean, you, you can, you can, and it's because of uh, Zavali's kid. I mean, they, they have very unique software. Um, the, the uh, Giuseppe, who who designed and wrote the software, is. I mean, he's here in Des Moines, uh, training us on it. 
and, and, and that's what makes all the difference in the world. There are other kits out there, mm -hmm. um, but, but you end up with the hesitations and some of the issues that, that we've heard over the years, and it's non-existent. With, with their, they've got the best product. All right, so how long are you in town? Well, how long are you going to be uh, in town? At uh, the moment, until Saturday. But until Saturday. If you really push me, I want me to stay. Okay. I'd be very happy. If we to bring do all that. of our vehicles <laughs> in, he'll, he'll stay. He'll stay. We want Paul to fix our car. That's what okay. I'm saying. Right. Hello. Well, nice to meet you, nice man. To meet you, guys. Yes. Nice yeah. to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me here today. Yes. We'll see you Thank Tuesday you very much. Bring, bring, bring a green suit and for me. One, two, three. Which size is going? We'll give you all the details coming up. It is 847. We'll be right back. You're watching a very jam-packed birthday.